morning, everyone, and welcome to Sports Inside the Box with Nate Miller here on the Mute Mogul Network. Hope you're all having a good day, wherever you may be. Hope the weather is nice for you. It's relatively nice here. It's just chilly, uh, but it is it is a sunny day out today, and it, and it was yesterday, too, so that really helps. <laughs> so, but yeah, hope you're all having a good day, and... Um, I know I am. Uh, it's a little earlier than I would have hoped, but I couldn't sleep last night, so I thought I'd make this video for you. Um, I wanted to talk about something positive. I, I always, I always like to talk about uh, positive things, but um, this this time I'm trying to make a like a positive out of a negative. As you all know, it's been a little over a month since Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna died in the um, helicopter crash along with seven other people. And I was going through some articles this week and I found a recent one that uh, really uh, caught, caught my attention. Um, for those that don't know, Kobe Bryant was very good friends with a guy named Scott Boris. Uh, if you don't know, Scott Boris is one of the top baseball agents ever, ever. Like I want to say in the country, but even that's an understatement. No, um, he is the best in the business and he only deals with baseball players. He only deals with baseball players, but he was very good friends with Kobe Bryant. Um, and, um, I thought this was really cool. I read recently that Scott Boris is going to honor Kobe Bryant's, one of Kobe Bryant's last uh, wishes, which is to give an internship to um, Alexis Altabelli. Alexis Altabelli is um, the daughter of the baseball coach that died in the helicopter crash. Now, the, honestly, like, I don't know, how could Kobe Bryant have known that, uh, um, that her father would die in the crash? Um, but, um, but it was just something that he wanted to see happen regardless. Something that he wanted to see uh, happen regardless. So what Scott Boris is going to do is he is going to give her, or at least he's going to offer her, a um an internship at his at his office she's going to um if she accepts the internship which uh, i really hope she does uh maybe she already has i don't know but um she would be doing a little bit of everything she'd be doing um some marketing she'd be doing some administrative office work she would be doing a little bit of everything and honestly, this is an internship that a lot of people would, you know, give their left arm for, including myself. <laughs> um, I know very well who Scott Boris is. I've always thought he was just the best at what he does. He's made a lot of Major League Baseball players a lot of money. Um, and a lot of minor league players, too, for that matter. He, re he represents minor league players, too. But they have to be really, really good minor <laughs> minor league players. Um, so anyway, he, he's going to offer her uh, this internship, and it'll most likely lead to, you know, a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent job with uh, with his organization. And um, she, I, I guess he has already given her a tour of his office, um, and it's just. I found that to be quite impressive. Um, you know, it just it it really goes to show you that it 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 doesn't really it doesn't always matter what your skill set is. I mean, I'm sure she has really really good you know credentials and and whatnot, but sometimes it really is about who you know. It really is about who you know now. Granted, this internship came about because of a very sad, you know, tragic incident. But, uh, you know, at least something positive is coming out of it. And, um, 
you know, good, like, good for her. Seriously, good for her. Like, who knows? Who knows where this will lead her? It'll be awesome. And, um, I can't wait to see what happens. I really can't. Um, like I said, I would give my left arm for an internship like this. Um, I've tried to, uh, I've tried to get many internships like this. Um, not, not specifically with Scott Boris, but, uh, just internships within sports. I've gotten a couple of internships, but they haven't really led to any full-time opportunities yet. But, um, and, uh, you know, I don't, it's like, I'm not trying to dwell on Kobe Bryant's death. Um, like, like I said, I just wanted to make something positive out of it. Um, I really loved the, the story and, uh, I'm happy. I'm happy for Alexis Altabelli and, um. I really can't wait to see what she does with this opportunity. So, so, I wonder if she'll. I wonder if she'll get to meet any of the players that Scott Boris represents. That would be pretty cool. Um, even if it's just in like in a passing situation, you know, maybe she'll be running the front desk at his office, and uh, these guys will come in and out. Um, sometime it'll probably be more like in the winter time. Uh, during the off season, but you never know. You never know with these things. <laughs> so uh, good for uh, Miss Ultabilly, and um, you know it's just it's awesome, awesome that he uh, that Scott Boris is doing this, and um, it it just goes to show you what kind of guy Kobe Bryant was at the same time. Uh, for you know sports figures to sort of cross paths like this, uh, both giants and what they did, um, in their respective fields, you know, Kobe Bryant, you know, with his basketball career and Scott Boris with his, um, with his agent career, if that's what you can call it, uh, just two of the, you know, most pr prominent guys in this business. Um, so I'm really really happy for uh for everyone involved i think uh alexis is getting a great opportunity and i think i i've never even met her never even met her and i i don't really know her um i would like to meet her someday but you know i haven't even met her and i can already tell that you know she must be somebody pretty special she must be pretty uh, special for um scott boris to want to give this to her um, I know it, it kind of seems like he's doing, you know, a favor to Kobe Bryant, but people don't always do, people don't always do favors like this. Um, it would be one thing if they, you know, if he just wanted to, you know, make a donation to Scott Boris's, um, uh, office or charity. I, I don't know if Scott Boris is involved in any charities or not, but, um, but yeah, this was huge. <laughs> this was quite huge for, uh, for everyone involved. Scott Boris, Alexis Altabelli, their whole family. And I think this will, you know, this will kind of make the grieving process a little bit easier for the Altabella family, Altabelli family. And, um, but, I mean, obviously, they can't bring their father back. But it was good. It was good to see this and just, you know, it was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. <clears throat> you know, and, you know, if people are still talking about Kobe Bryant's death even a month later, but they're not, <laughs> they're not talking about it as much as the Houston Astros cheating scandal. I figured I'd spend the last five minutes um, talking about that a little bit. It's going to be very hard to do a video, <clears throat> excuse me, a video or a radio show nowadays without talking about the Houston Astros. Um, we are, 
probably about four games into spring training and already half a dozen Astros players have been hit by pitches. Half a dozen. And it's only spring training, not even a week into spring training. Imagine if this would get carried over, which it probably will. Imagine if this were to get carried over into the regular season. A lot of guys are going to get hit. A lot of guys are going to get suspended. A lot of guys are going to get fined. Um, and it's mostly players on other teams, um, like other than the Astros. Players are just upset that you know these guys weren't punished. They were offered immunity by uh, Commissioner Rob Manfred uh, in exchange for you know them talking, them talking about you know the ins and outs of this whole cheating scam. And, um, and honestly, I think, uh, I think that was wrong. I think Rob Manfred should have handed out some sort of punishment because these guys were the ones doing it. You know, uh, the general manager and the manager both lost their jobs of the Houston Astros, uh, Jeff Lunell and AJ Hinch both lost their jobs. And uh, rightfully so. Uh, they were expecting it. Uh, or at least AJ Hinch was. I don't know. If, I don't know about Lunell, but um, but yeah, a lot of guys are just furious that none of the players got you know reprimanded for you know this cheating scandal, and they're gonna get hit. They're gonna get hit by pitches. Like I said. Um, Four games into spring training, and already six Astros players have been hit. Or I should say, uh, there have been six instances where Astros players have gotten hit. I think it's um, Jose Altuve has been hit like two or three times already. <laughs> um, it's just sad. It's sad. It's like players from other teams would almost rather lose money than win ball games. They would rather lose money by hitting these guys than win ball games. That's pretty sad. It's like you want to get back at these guys, win ball games the right way by not cheating, by not retaliating, by not you know throwing at these guys. But they're just not. That's that message is not getting through to these guys. I I know it's like a you know. It's a man's game, you know, things are going to get heated, emotions are going to boil over. But you got to keep that stuff in check. You got to keep that stuff in check. I know I know it's easy for me to say I've never played the game professionally. Uh, probably never will. And, um, but still, like, be better. Be better than, you know, than, you know, the players that you want to be. <laughs> you know, be better than everybody, you know, be better than, you know, what your thoughts are. I know you're angry. I know you're frustrated. I know you feel cheated. But just play the game. Play the game. Throw strikes. Do whatever you have to go. Do whatever you have to do to get these guys out. Not take them out of the game, but get them out. Get outs, get runs, get wins. Okay, and you know, I know that's going to take a while for that to sink in. Unfortunately, and it's just you know, it's crazy. It's crazy how uh, crazy how this is all spilled out. But uh, like I said, it's going to be a long time before we can stop talking about it. Uh, people are still talking about the 1919 Chicago Blackhawk uh, Black Sox scandal where they threw the World Series. People are still talking about that, even a hundred years later. <laughs> I don't think this is going to go away anytime soon. And it's very sad. It's very sad. Um, you know, people are talking less about, you know, World Series victories that happened 20 years ago, um, which they should talk about, and uh, they're still con concentrating on this, but it's not going away. It's not going away anytime soon, and uh, I don't really expect it to, sadly. 
So, uh, yeah, that is my video for this week. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, tune in next week for another episode of Sports Inside the Box with Nate Miller here on the Mute Mogul Network. So long.